Under the shade of maple trees, Yusuke teaches karate amid the steady hum of cicadas. Marielle moved here from the United States. It's her first martial arts class in Hanagi Park. It looked really cool and made me think of, like, of course, Hollywood movies and like, someone with some very s special skills. So people really think about Japanese culture and then some people come up with karate, the idea of karate, because you have to be polite to others. And then, because you have to bow. The Japanese have mixed feelings about karate in the Olympics. The people that do karate, there are two sides. The one that aren't looking forward to seeing karate even in the Olympics because it's too much of a sport. And others that are more into the, the modern style of karate. Yusuke refuses to pick sides between the old and new guard. He runs his own YouTube channel, popular with English speakers interested in karate. As nice as this. Others long before him took the martial art to Europe. In the 1960s, the events drew attention in Paris or London. Take a look at a demonstration during the British Karate Championships at Wembley. A Japanese instructor shows how it's done. Note the defensive stance. The karate man never strikes first. Millions of people around the world practice karate and it's hugely symbolic to see its Olympic debut here in Tokyo. But will it be a one-off? It's not programmed at the Paris 2024 Olympics and some are already campaigning to bring it back in future games.